all that the game basically is is that there are two rows where the meteors come from, the red LEDs. And you, as a player, the green LED, have to try dodging themselves. In this round above, I survived for 20 seconds straight without dying. Which is why once I survived for 20 seconds, all the LEDs turned on. In order to control the player's movement, you just have to hold the button. If you hold the button, you're right. If you let go of it, you're on the left side. If I lost, on the other hand, by the meteors hitting me, all the LEDs turned off. The materials used to make the meteor game are 13 breadboard jumper wires, 8 red LEDs, 2 green LEDs, 1 switch, 1 Arduino Uno, 1 breadboard, 10 220 ohm resistors, 1 10 kilo ohm resistor. By the way, all of these materials are included in the Arduino starter kit. In the end product, the red LEDs represent the position of the meteors and the green LEDs represent the position of the player. So now we have to actually make the product. So to begin with, we need to put the red LEDs for the meteors. We have to connect them to the outputs, we could use them in code, and put a resistor so it doesn't get too much current. The resistor we're adding should be 220 ohms. You should make sure to remember that the longer side of the LED, the anode, should be connected to the power, and the shorter side of the LED, the cathode, should be connected to the resistor. Now all we have to do is duplicate this process many times to make all the LEDs for all the rows. So now we connected all the red LEDs to the motherboards, we could use them in code, and gave them all resistors. We now have to make an LED for the player's position, and this LED should be green. But it also requires a resistor and a connection to the motherboard. Now moving on to the next part. We need to duplicate this row. We need to duplicate this row because if you remember from the end product, there were two rows where the meteors came from, which also is uh, how the player dodges them. We have to do the same process for this new row. Connect them all to the motherboard and give them resistors because after all, these are all just the same LEDs. Now that all the LEDs are connected, we need to add a button to control the movement of the player. We should place the button, then connect it to the motherboard, and then we have to put a 10 kilo ohm resistor to make sure it doesn't get too much current. We should now also give it positive charge to the other side of the switch. As you might have already observed, I forgot to add resistors to the other row of LEDs. And that's all that there is to do to make the breadboard for the Meteor Raining game. So we now start off initiating the variables. We then have to write our setup code and our default things we have to write in the start. At the beginning of the loop function, we have to control the player movement. The next part of the code controls the timing of creating a meteor, and then when it is time to create a meteor, it calls on a function, create meteor. The next part, move countdown, just is basically exactly that, the countdown for when to move the meteors. And finally, there's one last countdown, the win countdown, which determines when the player wins. After the win countdown, the Arduino determines when, if the game is lost or if the game is won. If the game is lost, it switches off all the lights, and if the game is won, it switches them all on. The next function, create meter, does exactly that. It creates the meter. But when it's time to create the meter, it calls in another uh, function that does a few more checks and actually operates the task. 
And now for the move meters function. It assesses the situation and moves the meters accordingly. And now for the new meter check. This function does a few la a last moment checks and creates the meters. And now for the last function. This function is simple. All it does is checks if the player lost. And that's all for the coding aspect for the game. The design of the breadboard along with the code files are linked in the description below. Thanks for watching. Um, be sure to like, share and subscribe and watch out for the new videos.